Hi Mastermind fans, I'm Tanya and we are here at the Ajax store, currently at our Woohoo HQ quarters where we, this is where we wrap all of our gifts for all of our customers. Gift wrapping is offered curbside pickup as well as in store. You just gotta click the button when you purchase your online order and we'll be happy to wrap it up for you in a snap. We're often asked, how do we wrap the perfect gift? And I'm here today to show you some of our favorite tips and our tricks. So I'm gonna first start showing you with our basic box. Um, what you wanna do is make sure that you've got the right amount of paper and that's the very first important tip. So we tend to measure it out by putting the item on top of the paper and then doubling it over to make sure that you've got enough to go all the way around the paper and just a little bit of extra slack. So one of the first things I'm gonna say is that you're gonna to wanna to cut the paper to make sure that you remove any excess to make the wrapping that much easier for you. So place the item on top of the paper. Make sure you've got enough that covers the corners and edges and then trim off your excess. A sharp pair of scissors is actually really good as well. It helps keep the paper from tearing. You're gonna to wanna to fold it over, bring over the other piece. And if you've got a little bit of a rough edge, sometimes you can just fold it over and make a nice crisp edge like this. Make sure you're pulling them nice and tight. That helps keep the corners. Then when you get to the edge here to do your corners, there's two different ways that you can do it. You can start off with doing the middle fold, which is when you tuck the paper in through the middle and make your little corner edges like that. Bring down your top piece, pull up the bottom, grab your piece of tape. Then on this side here, you could try doing it when you pull down the paper here bending the edges, folding them inwards, making a nice crisp corner. Just like that, got a nice wrapped up box. Top it off with one of our famous multicolored bows. And just like that, your gift is ready to go. The next item I'm gonna show you is one of the larger plushes that we carry at Mastermind Toys. This one's a little bit of an odd shape. He's got a smaller top and a larger bottom. You could do this in two different ways. One is a bag, which is a trick I'll show you next, or you could do it as a regular gift. So make sure you've measured your paper, making sure that you have enough to go around him. With this one, we're not going to trim our excess. It could be just because of the shape of him, we wanna make sure we've got enough paper to cover everywhere. So pull it up, pull it tight. Smooth it out. Try to get your corners as neat as you can. You might have to fold it down, then lift it up, pulling it nice and tight in push of the corners. Then pull your edges nice and tight so that you've got some clean edges to go with. You can repeat that onto the other side, smoothing down your paper, folding it over, folding it over. And then this one, you can also do a second fold if you need to. Once you've got that nice and tight, pull it up to the top. And there you have it. So with this one, you can just pull your edges nice and tight to make your corners nice and crisp and add yourself a pretty bow to the top of the package. And there you go. So the last trick that I have for you guys is making a bag. Now this is a weird object. It's not the easiest to wrap up. But I'm gonna show you how to place it into a bag to make the perfect gift. Again, you're always gonna to wanna to measure your paper. So for this one, you're gonna need just a little bit of extra because you wanna make sure that the paper fits the diameter of your object. You're gonna sit that on to the paper and you're gonna make sure that when you make your fold, you know exactly how big to make your bag. Fold one side over, making a nice little crease. Fold your other side over, make the crease. You're gonna to wanna to run a piece of tape the whole length of the paper. If you didn't get enough, not a big deal. Just add a little bit more to the top 
And there you go. Once you've got that part done, you're gonna wanna fold up the bottom. Once you've got your bottom rolled, uh, folded up, you're gonna want to take it, open it up, stick your finger into the corner, make a little triangle, and then fold it down. Repeat that onto the other side, finger into the corner, and then fold it down. Once you've got that done, it's gonna look something like this. Then you're gonna wanna fold up your bottom, meeting it into the middle. Then you're gonna fold over your top, overlapping just a little bit. And then it's gonna look something like that. And you're gonna to wanna to tape up those edges. Once it's fully taped, that's what you're gonna have at the bottom. And you're gonna to wanna to put your hand inside just to open up your bag. And that's what the bag is gonna look like. Then you place your item into the bag, pull it tight, and you're gonna fold it over, fold it over, make yourself a little triangle again. Take that, fold it all the way down, piece of tape and place it at the bottom. Pull your corners again, just like you would with any of your gifts. And there you have your bag. Take your bow. And there you go. You've got a nice round object wrapped up. You could try any of these tips and tricks at home or come on over to Mastermind Toys or any of us will be more than happy to wrap it up for you. If you liked this video, make sure to like below and subscribe for more.